What's good YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is a vlog, kind of a, not a day in life because this would not be a normal day, but thought it'd be cool to take you guys around with me for one day in Mykonos, Greece. I'm currently in Greece. I just woke up, so obviously haven't a chance to make the bed yet, but this is what we're dealing with. So this is my room, as you can see. And this is where we're walking out to. The villa is an absolute joke. Look at the views. The views are mad. So I'm currently in Mykonos, Greece. I'm gonna be here for like another two more days. Been here for like seven days total. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys around with me. So hit the like, subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work today, mostly just restaurants and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. But yeah, hit the like, subscribe button if you enjoy my content and uh, let's get into it. attention to the villa it's a bit of a bomb site right now but this is what this is the layout this is the layout and like what it looks like there's shit everywhere but this is like the main living room bit got a bedroom through there massive door bedroom through two bedrooms through there kitchen area and then as we walk out this is like the pool bit with the sick views and get a drone out it's very windy so i don't know if it's going to be possible but i'm going to get a drone out and shoot some sick content like along here basically i'm going to do a bit of a work session now for like 40 minutes to an hour to check on some uh, models and stuff check on like subscribers our traffic sources check in with my team and um yeah then i'm gonna keep going so guys typically when i'm on holiday or when i'm traveling i will be pretty much out of whack like it's oof. It's obviously very difficult to be in a normal work routine when you're traveling, but the beautiful thing about building a lean but well well oiled like team um, is that you can travel and things will still operate as normal. So even though I've traveled, I've probably worked anywhere between five hours this week, I'd say. I've worked like five hours in the last week and our agency and our model are still having the service delivered, they're still getting communication, still getting results, sales are still coming in, revenue's still coming in, and that's just the incredible thing about building like businesses, right? Like it's not requiring me physically to always run and maintain and scale. Like I've hired team members in the right place to um, to help grow the business, right? And that's the that's the great thing about building a well-oiled businesses. So Typically what I'll do when I'm traveling is I will kind of check my laptop throughout the day and just check my work phones continuously throughout the day. It's mostly just communication with my team members and my models basically, right? Um, same thing with Invoke, my paid ad agency, is just communicating with my team members, communicating with everyone in the agency itself, um, just to make sure everyone knows what they're doing and everything's gonna go in on the right path, right? So that's actually what I'm doing now. I'm just checking my inflow stats for my models to see like how results are going, how they're doing. Um, and this is typical what I'll do throughout the day basically, right? But anyone that tells you guys you know, traveling whilst making, whilst growing businesses is easy, it's not easy, like it's, it is difficult. If I just travel continuously and try to run like effectively free businesses, I have technically free businesses, I have Invoke Marketing, which is my main paid ad agency, I have only Astra Agency, which is the only fans model agency, and I have um, only Astra Academy, which is a program mentorship educational business for aspiring uh, only fans agency owners. So yeah, like running those three whilst continuously travelling would be very 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 difficult. That's why like when I do travel, I really travel. And when I'm in London and my work hub, let's say. I will literally just be there continuously, like months on end. 
right? But to be honest with you guys, in the HD right now, we have seven models now, I believe. Seven models currently inside um, the HC. I did have nine, I did just recently drop uh, one and dropped, well, I had a white label uh, client that we did chatting for, but she couldn't deliver any subs, so we dropped her. And I, um, so I now just have seven technically, right? But uh, things are scaling pretty well. One of our models, she has a lot going on in her personal life, um, so it's, she hasn't been able to create content, so things are kind of on hold of her. Um, but the other models are like still scaling. Still scaling fine, and I'm going to show you some proof, as you can say, because even though I do show a lot of proof in all my videos, I literally don't use screenshots, I use videos and show my results. Um, people will always still chat shit. Alright, guys, I'm going to show you my screen so you see a bit of proof when I put in. Don't know how to do this without, I'm going to have to get my editor to blow out the names, but. You can see this is one of our models. You can see the consistency of subs coming in, and I'll click on a random one. You can see these are all paid subs. He's already spent money. Uh, there you go. There's a literally literal paid sub. So you can see it. Like the consistency of subs is literally coming in. This is literally in the last 24 hours or so. That's just one model. Let's jump on another model. Again, look at the consistency of subs coming through the door. Two, three. But yeah, as you can see, like um, our main traffic sources for our models right now is mainly like TikTok side of things. We do have a few other platforms going. Some models do better on some platforms. Others do better on other platforms, for instance, We've got like a young cheerleader girl and she does really well on Reddit, but one of our older models doesn't do well on Reddit. So it's really subjective to each platform itself. That's one thing I will say, it's not really one shoe fits all. You've got to tailor your platform based off your knowledge, obviously first things first, and uh, like your model and where their typical niche or audience would hang out. Um, it's just marketing at the end of the day. You can figure out where the customers are, figure out how to put the product in front of the customer, that is how you win in a nutshell. But yeah, that is basically what I'm doing now. I'm gonna catch up with all our models and my team members now also. And uh, we should have a drone coming in very, very soon. So maybe we can get some behind the scenes content of that and what it looks like to create content. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a minute. So guys, I'm about to have a catch up call with one of my team members. Um, this team member is like doing like, this team member basically that manages like the Reddit side of things for my, for my models, so I'm gonna catch up with them and uh, see how things are going on, progress updates, and anything that I need to do, like update proxies, etc. He'll like tell me, so I'm gonna get into it, and you guys can see. Hello, hello, yes, yes, hello, how are you? I can, yes, you good? Yeah, all good, all good. We're always like outside from the, from the villa, from the house, end of the end of the month. Yes, how are you? Yes, they're still able to find it. What about the pictures? Alright, that's good then. So guys, we are, you can see, little outfit change. We're currently filming some ads. So I'm here with Tom. Hello. From Rosie Digital. Um, I'm currently filming some ads for like Invo, my paid ads agency. He's doing the same for his agency. So this is the scene. This is the backdrop of what we're going to be seeing some ads for. So the, why we're filming the ads is for like customer client acquisition to basically get more clients to run the paid ad service too. He's doing the exact same thing. Um, so we're just helping each other shoot ads. And uh, yeah, this is literally work. Like this is fucking work. Well, I so I'm gonna show you guys behind the scenes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna shoot some ads. Let's look, let's look, look, are you struggling with your meta ads? Look, are you struggling with your meta ads? We have a guarantee that if we don't, and focusing on generating new quality customers coming to their business every single day, they expand, resulting in a great month, resulting in 221k generated in just one month. So guys, we've just wrapped up the ad content for. Both our agencies will now just order some Slovaki because we're going to get some carbs in because we're not eating today. 
car like 4 p.m. But um, yeah, we're now gonna eat, pack the bags, and then I am gonna catch up with my head chatter at the agency, and then we're gonna go to a beach restaurant, I believe. But yeah, work with a cheeky little view, absolute vibes. Let's go. So guys, it's currently like 5 p.m. right now. I am just reviewing one of my um, one of my YouTube videos. So anytime my editor, like I film it, send it to my editor, editor chops it up, adds in screenshots, anything that's related to the topic. I'll then review it and um, like I'm doing now, and then I'll let him know and uh, we'll post that way. So I'm spending like the next kind of hour or so just on content. I hired a drone today, as you saw earlier, which was amazing. I've never really used a drone properly before, so that was cool as shit. So that drone content, I'll add into this vlog as well. Um, but besides that, I am um, now just looking at my next content that we're gonna produce, and I will be headed out to the beach club pretty soon. I think we're going to a restaurant, actually. I don't think we're doing beach clubs today. We are we are running out of time, but yeah, so I'm gonna literally play the drone footage now that you saw uh, me filming earlier and uh, Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me, yeah, so so yeah, let me know what you guys think So guys, we're dressed up We're now gonna go to a sunset bar, then we're gonna go to a restaurant, I believe And then enjoy the last night in Mykonos This is Mr. Malaka. Say hello to the vlog you're gonna be on the OnlyFans YouTube girls yalla, now. Yalla. <laughs> so guys, we're currently at a at a restaurant. We're currently at a restaurant watching the sunset. I'm gonna put in a sick clip after this of the sunrise going down with a pretty crazy song. Amazing vibes. Amazing, amazing vibes. But yeah, the night still gonna go on. This is our uh, keep going YouTube. Lads. So guys, welcome to the end of the video. As I went out at the end of last night, I wasn't able to film. I want to throw in some like kind of B-roll um, over the, over this video, basically. But um, look, last day in Mykonos, basically, and it was a good good one to be honest with you. Um, yesterday was heavily just working in the mornings and exploring the island, doing like the beach clubs, doing restaurants and stuff, and the occasional nightclub in the evening. But um, that's basically what I do. I, I travel just literally focus on working and during the day, shooting content and um, like working up until like five, six-ish p.m. And then in the evening, we kind of go out, we go party, we go partying. If we do restaurants, beach clubs, etc., we'll do that in the afternoons after we've done the work, basically, right? But yeah. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible, incredible place to travel, making us guys. If you've never traveled before, if you can afford it, go for it. It is very, very amazing, but expensive as shit. Um, I think I spent phew, pretty close to five figures just in seven days, but we've, we've had some incredible memories. So guys, that concludes kind of day in life-ish on holiday edition. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy my type of content. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.